In our last session, we made a simple animation that morphs from one shape to another and then moves the entire animation along a path in time. While this animation contains all the technical elements that we need, it lacks life and expression. Click and drag through the frames of the X sheet to see that all elements are in place. Let's now build on these technical elements and add expression to our animation section by section. Start with a new empty scene, and for convenience sake, let's begin drawing exactly in the center of this frame. Open Tune's vector brush is more or less forgiving, depending on the settings that you use. Lacking a steady hand can be compensated for by adjusting the accuracy of the brush. Dragging to the left with this slider causes Open Tunes to draw a less accurate representation of your stroke, but essentially this smooths the drawing. Select the Control Point Editor tool to smooth out this bump. Selecting this drawing in the level strip, press D or your keyboard shortcut to duplicate this drawing. Select the second drawing and press I or your keyboard shortcut for inserting blank frames. Select a blank frame somewhere in the middle of these range of frames and drag upward to set the range of onion skins. With this middle frame selected in the level strip, draw your first key position which indicates the anticipation of the jumping of this ball. Similar to a baseball pitcher winding up before he pitches the ball. Select all the drawings between this one and the first drawing and use the automatic in-betweener. We get a good result. Select the last frame in this range and use your keyboard shortcut to add more in-between frames. Selecting a frame somewhere in the middle, draw an even more exaggerated, anticipatory frame. Use the Control Point Editor tool to correct any inconsistencies in this drawing. Select all drawings between this drawing and the last drawing and use the automatic in-betweener again. Selecting the last drawing in this frame range, use your keyboard shortcut to insert more blank frames. Then select a blank frame somewhere in the middle. Draw a new key position and imagine it to be a leaping position. Use the control point editor tool to clean up this drawing. Make a note that while using this tool, you can not only pull on the control points and bezier handles, but on the in-between segments to adjust them as a whole. In the level strip, select all drawings between this and the last drawing and use the automatic in-betweener again. Select the last drawing in the range and add some more in-between frames. Selecting a frame in the middle, Draw a new key position that indicates the final launch of the ball. For a more coarse adjustment of this shape, select the Pinch tool and select Manual, and then drag upward. In the level strip, select all frames between this drawing and the last drawing and use the automatic in-betweener again. Finalize your sequence of drawings by selecting the last frame and all in-between frames and use automatic in-betweening again. This entire series of drawings indicates the anticipation of the ball before it launches itself. Copy the second to the last frame in this series and then use the paste into command. 
Consider this key position as a reactionary position to the ball coming to an abrupt stop. Upon quickly stopping, the ball stretches out and then returns to its original shape. This portion of our animation was all quickly done with copy and paste into. Scrolling with your mouse wheel in the level strip actually shows you a preview of the animation. Select all these frames, right click, and choose Expose in X Sheet. Select the first column in the X Sheet, delete it, leaving us with a single exposed column. Press the loop button in the playback controls to see the progression of this animation. This animation shows our ball as it gets ready to jump in anticipation, and then as it jumps it launches itself, coming to an abrupt stop and then returning to its original shape, producing a reaction to the jump itself. Double check the reaction portion in the X sheet. It appears that we could use another in-between. You can add this in-between drawing by selecting it in the level strip and exposing it in the X sheet. This produces a new column in the X sheet. Choose where you wish to insert this frame, select all the frames and drag downward to make space for the new drawing. Drag this new drawing to insert it in this blank space. Close the empty space in the X sheet by dragging the block upward. Click the loop button in the playback controls to see your animation in action. Drag through the frames in your X sheet to see a slower version of this animation. To make the animation pause at the end, simply drag the last frame by its tab. Scroll through these last frames to make sure it meets your expectations.